So today what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to modify an object to make it bigger or smaller um, using Adobe Photoshop. And now, so what I'm going to do is you see I have a picture up on the screen. This is a picture of my son Kai. Kai is now nine. Um, so this is a picture when he was probably eh, four to five years old. Um, so we're going to change him around a little bit. I'm going to do some things to him to make him look different, bigger or smaller. All right. So in order to do this, I'm gonna use a tool called the Liquify tool. Very simple to use, can do so many cool things with all kinds of features. All right, so let's see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Filter, and then I'm gonna click Liquify. You can see the Filter Liquify tool. Now I'm gonna show you the basics of the Liquify tool, but if you wanna get into it and do a lot more with it, like there's the Face Aware Liquify and stuff like that, I'm just gonna show you the bare basics. So the first thing I'm gonna do though is I need to zoom in on this image a little bit. All right, so I'm looking at Kai, and let's say Kai comes to me and he's like, Dad, Dad, I wanna have big muscles like the Incredible Hulk. I can say, you know what? I know how to do that in Adobe Photoshop. So let's add, let's buff you up a little bit, Kai, so that you can be like a superhero that you like, right? All right, so you can see on the left-hand side here are a bunch of options. To make someone bigger, you use the bloat tool. To make an object or to make, like, if I wanted to make Kai smaller, I would use the pucker tool. So I'm gonna click the bloat tool. On the right-hand side, I'm gonna click the size of my brush. and eh, that's probably a good size, 52. And my density is fine at 50, so I can just keep that there, and that should be good. I should be able to start messing around with this a little bit. All right, so let's test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap, tap on the mouse, just tap. Notice how his shirt just changed a little bit. And I have my preview on. I'm just going to go around Kai, give him a little bit more width. Look what I did done to his arm. Now, obviously, if I'm trying to make this better, I'd probably, you know, zoom in a lot. I can make Kai have like a big giant head if I want to. You know, like make his hat huge. Gotta be careful how much I do it because I don't want it to look too distorted. Oh, I'm already doing that, that's okay. I don't need to redo it. So we've made Kai, we've given him a big hat. So let's take a look at Kai. So take a look at his arm and his hat. I mean, I could keep going and just making him bigger, 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 right? All around. Give him some traps, which little kids don't really have. I mean, I could just keep going. So you can see the difference between preview, not preview. Things that I've done. Now, the inverse of that, let's cancel this. Let's do it again. Go to filter liquify, I can make him smaller. So I can make him have a really tiny head or his hat, make it really, really, really small. Let's do that. So let's click the pucker tool. Oh, okay, our brush is much bigger. So this will work a little quicker. Look at the size of Kai's hat. Wow, it actually probably fits him better because he was totally wearing my hat there. <laughs> I could do the same thing with his arms. Make his arms just, and notice how I have it, like I'm using a big brush. I've got a high rate and densities up at 50. So I can make this, I can make much more minute changes if I'd like to. But let's take a look at the preview. So that's what I've done and that's normal. Preview, pretty big difference, right? In just one second. So just imagine if I zoomed in and did this, paying attention to each of the details. A really cool tool, super easy to modify the size of an object in a photo. The trick is you have to make sure you don't pixelize it too much. So let's watch what happens. It just, I've distorted the image. It, it doesn't look right anymore, right? I mean, look at this, it's like all blurry and so you can do it too much to make something not correct. And the same is true with the make something bigger. Look what happens when you make it bigger. It just becomes one big blurb, one big blob right there. 
and just basically blurring the screen. So you have to be really careful with how much you do it and how much you don't do it because you don't want to overextend it. But it is a really cool feature to play around with. Sometimes you take a picture and something just doesn't look correct. It looks unnaturally, you know, too like his hat does look too big um, because he's wearing my hat. So just shrinking it a little bit makes it look like, oh, hey, this, this parent actually bought a hat that is the right size for their child. So, you know, things like that can work out for you. So I just wanted to show you this feature. I think it's a really cool feature to experiment around, experiment with and play around with. So have fun, good luck. Let me know how it goes. Thanks all, have a great day.